one thing I was most afraid to do, I suppose I'll have to select from many. I, I don't know what I would put down, except one of the most challenging things that I did had to do with what happened after when I was graduating from college. I graduated from a small college in Richmond, Virginia. In my senior year, the question came up, what was going to be next? And financially, I knew what the answer had to be. I had to get a job. But for some reason, I decided I wanted to apply to graduate schools. And one of my professors said, well, there is a good institution in the Midwest that you might consider. And it was the University of Wisconsin. I went to the University of Wisconsin as my parents said later when they visited there, they said, what is this? You don't know anybody in Wisconsin. We don't have any relatives here. What in the world led you to choose this place? And what a difference that was, coming again from not only a small town I'd grown up in, but as I said, a very segregated place. And now I'm thrown into a different world, world much colder than I had known as well. And they would do everything possible to scare you in Wisconsin when I went there. They said, you got here in the early fall. You're fortunate because when winter comes, when the temperature drops zero and the next person would tell you, oh, we're lucky if it gets up to zero. These kinds of things were challenges. And I could readily have said, all right, I've tried this. I'm not sure this is something I want to continue to do. But not only did I stay, complete my graduate work, but I went back and joined the faculty and had, had been, until recently, had been on that faculty for years and years.